my great grandmother came from kerala so i'm so lucky i get to eat this all the time this is my favorite episode in the entire channel so you better enjoy this one let's learn how to make putte Atas legendary putte Ingredients Rice flour Grated coconut Pandan leaves and ghee The first steps are really important so follow what grandma is doing She sprinkles a little water in 500 grams of rice flour and very gently runs her fingers through the flour to turn it moist and fluffy She does not knead the flour but gently swirls her fingers around it. She keeps doing this for a few times until it resembles fluffy bread crumbs that she can press into shape but will crumble easily. The amount of water she uses depends on the flour. She stops once she gets this texture. Next, she runs the moist flour through a mesh sieve. This is to break any lumps that may have formed if she added too much water. She distributes the flour evenly in the tray. And then she steams the flour for 15 to 20 minutes. She uses a fork to check the texture and it should look lumpy like this once cooked through. Once it's cool enough, she uses her hands to break the lumps and this can last in the fridge for up to 2 days. This is a traditional puttu steamer and in the morning, grandma fills half of the steamer with water. She adds torn pieces of two pandan leaves for fragrance. She dilutes 3 tablespoons of salt in 1 cup of water. It looks pink because she prefers Himalayan rock salt. The steam flour is now in room temperature and she runs it once more through the mesh sieve. She does this so that the putte will definitely be fluffy and even. She discards the lumps that cannot go through the sieve. She seems very pleased with this texture. Next, she adds little by little the salt water and gently runs her fingers through the flour making sure not to form too many lumps her tip is to keep tasting and to stop once it has enough salt to your liking another tip is to add 3 teaspoons of brown sugar to bring out the flavors of the putte she also mixes 1 tablespoon of ghee to give the putte a rich flavor next She gets ready to arrange the putte in the steamer. She gently adds ghee around the inside to prevent sticking. It will also smell amazing. She adds a thin layer of grated coconut. She fills up half of the steamer with flour. She then adds another thin layer of coconut. And then fills the remaining half with the flour. Topping it with more coconut. It is important not to tap the steamer or compress the flour. Let it stay loose and it will all fall into place. She steams it within 10 minutes.
To know if the putta is done, the steam should start coming out from the top. She runs the steamer with cold water so that she can remove the putta easily. On a fresh banana leaf, she gently pushes the bottom of the steamer with a thin wooden rolling pin. And her legendary puttu, we all travel back to Sagamat for, is ready. Puttu is traditionally served with bananas, jaggery or brown sugar, grated coconut and some melted ghee. Don't forget to try this recipe. There's more coming. Thanks for watching.